sorry for the interruption. Uh, if I have a 10 minutes, then I may complete this chapter. But unfortunately, there is some electrical glitches surrounding the house. Right? That is a power fluctuations. So I am unable to continue. Right? <clears throat> right. So what we discussed in the previous, we have discussed the um, um, so I think we are <clears throat> incomplete this problem. So to explain this one with help of the uh, stair steps diagram or cobweb diagram, right? So, however, just time to recall. Let's see. Uh, so, that is what is that one? Suppose uh, a star be an equilibrium point. Right. Equilibrium point. What the difference? Equation. Yeah, plus one equals two. Oh, then continuously differentiable. Differentiable. That is our equilibrium point. So if the modulus of f star of but f dash of a star is less than one, your equilibrium point a star is asymptotic stable. And uh, second one, if f dash of a star is greater than one, your equilibrium point instead right of course there is no information when the modulus of f, f dash of a star is equals to one in such a case we are using the uh diagram right that is a stair a step that is we need to draw a Diagram that is first we need to draw y is equals to uh, x and suppose your function this is your x n plus or uh, a of n plus one is equals to k times a of k. this is your initial condition a of zero. So, for example, our a star is equal to g, right? So, here, this is the g. What happened in the tablet, the, it is the diagram is consisting of the horizontal and the vertical lines, right? So, what happened, this is your a of 0 and this is you need to draw a line and it is where it is touching with the line y is equals to x right so that is your um, uh, let us say that is this is your uh, a of a naught comma zero and this will be touching with here let us say that is um, a of 1 comma a of 1 and then draw the uh, vertical line and then construct the, the horizontal line and where it is a touching you can say that is uh, this is you can say this is a point uh, a1 this is a point a2 this is point A3, and this is a point A4, and this is a point A5, 
and so on, what will happen? It reaches your n of a star is equal to zero. So such a condition we can say the system is a asymptotic stable. That is uh, asymptotic stable means stable plus attract. Right? So that asymptotic stable, there is a guarantee of the stable. But if it is a only stable, there is no guarantee of the asymptotic stable. Right? And also you can draw the uh, Another one, suppose this is your, um, let us say, this is your y is equal to x, and you can say, um, what you can say, this is the graph y, that is what we have. Um, n plus 1 is equal to k times n. If k is some greater than some um, 1, then this is this one. And what happened? You can say this is your um, um, what happened? This is your k1. So this is your vertical line. And then this is k2. And then you can draw the another one and construct on the again vertical and right um, and so on. What happened? These state steps away from the origin zero that is a very A star. So that's why this is unstable. So this is our problem. We have discussed it so far. Mm -hmm. This is the, the this is our problem. Mm, right. So this is a non homogeneous uh, difference equation, right? And uh, this is your a of n plus 1 is equal to f of a n. So your f of a n is nothing but the right hand side of the difference equation. That is, you can say that is as f of x is equal to k x plus c. And if a star is a um, um, equilibrium point, then f of a star is equal to a star. Then k a star plus c is equal to a star implies a star times 1 minus k is equals to c, then your equilibrium point is equals to c over 1 minus k. So then, we know that we need to apply the theorem. If the f dash of a is equals to k, right, this is f of x, and the f dash of x is equals to k, right? So, f dash of a star is equals to k constant because this is a constant function derivative. So, f dash of a star is equals to k. So, the equilibrium is depending on the k, whatever the equilibrium point. So, a star is an equilibrium point, but f dash of a star is equals to k. So, the, the stability analysis is based on the k value. If k is mod k is a less than 1, then your system is asymptotically stable. And similarly, if the value of mod k is greater than 1, then your system is unstable, right? So you can see the, uh, what is the cobweb or state uh, step diagram, right? Uh, see, when the k is equal to minus 1, and C is equals to 1 and A naught is equals to 3, right? So, under the circumstances, what will happen? We will see you got a um, one periodic orbit, right? So, it's starting from one orbitic, one uh, periodic orbit, right? Around your equilibrium point, A star, that is uh, 0, right? So, 
around that equilibrium point you got one periodic uh, orbit so uh, your equilibrium point is stable when k is equal to right so this is already we discussed and this is the problem of mm, i think this the, the, this problem we, we had a, a, a difficulty to continue due to the electrical glitches right now we'll see so this problem already we discussed that is a saving account with the fixed compound interest and balance dependent monthly withdrawals i think this is a problem in uh, first chapter 1.2.3 so if e of n is the account balance at at the month end then we have a following dynamical system a of n plus 1 is equal to 1 plus r over 100 times a of n minus k times a of n whole square. Of course, it is clearly nonlinear because of the square. Uh, and we know that what is your f of x. If you write this one, a of n plus 1 is equal to f of a n, this is your f of a n. So that is meaning of f of x is equal to in place of a n just put x. So f of x is equal to 1 plus r over 100 times x minus k x square. So in place of a n we are going to put x and the right hand side a n plus 1 we are putting f of x. So how do we calculate the equilibrium point? So this function has an equilibrium point, then the condition is f of a star is equal to a star. So this is uh, 1 plus r over 100 a star minus k times a star a square is equal to a star. Then the 1 over uh, the a star. So a star times 1 a star and this a star will be cancelled, right? And you will get r over 100 times a star minus k times a star square is equals to zero. So that is, you can take a star as a common, a star times r over 100 minus k a star is equals to zero. So the product is equals to zero. There are two possible um, equilibrium point. One is a star is equals to zero and uh, r over 100 minus k a star is equal to 0. So this implies you can write a star is equal to uh, r over 100 times k. Right? <clears throat> so we got a, a two equilibrium points. Now we need to apply the result theorem, what we discussed without proof. So for that one, we need a derivative of this function. Right? So we need to find what is the derivative. The derivative of f of x is equal to uh, one, one, one plus r over 100 times 2kx. This is the derivative. Right? So in place of x, if you put the 0, your 0 is our one of the equilibrium point, then you will get 1 plus r over 100. Right? And if you put r over 100k, this is another um, equilibrium point in this uh, equation, 1 plus r over 100 minus 2k uh, times r over 100k. So by simplification, you will get 1 over 1 minus r over 100. So here, the again, the, the derivative of the equilibrium points depending on the r. What is the R? That is the rate of interest, right? So you know that the rate of interest is always greater than zero. So that's why uh, in this case, R is greater than zero, the F dash of zero is greater than zero, right? So, So, so in such a case, our equilibrium point is unstable, right? So, our equilibrium point 
a star is equals to zero is uh, is unstable. So what is the other case? If r is greater than zero, this should be a less than one because one minus r over 100, so it should be a less than one. So your equilibrium point, the another equilibrium point, a star is asymptotic state, right? So we will see how to uh, visualize uh, this in particular values of r is equals to uh, uh, 10 and uh, k is equals to 10 to the power of minus 4, right? <clears throat> so, so we know that the equilibrium point is equals to a star is equals to 0 and a star is equals to 1000, right? So when we are substituting these values, right? For example, when we substitute here, a star is equals to 10 over 100 times 10 to the power of minus uh, 4. That is 100 by 10 by 100 times 10 to the power of 4. So 0, 0, that is a 1 after 4, 0, 1, 0 will be cancelled. We get 1000. So your equilibrium point is 1000. Right? Now, we will see. So the initial amount deposit is a $50. Right? That is the account balance moves away from the unstable equilibrium point A is equals to 0 and towards the asymptotically stable equilibrium point A star is equals to 1. See here, if our A naught is a point um, that A naught is equals to, what is that value? 50, right? The initial amount is a 50, then uh, it will be starting here, right? And then what is your uh, equilibrium point is a zero. This is a zero. What happened if our stair steps is moving away from the equilibrium point, right? So the, the, so that's why we know already that A is equals to, A star is equals to zero. Uh, is uh, unstable because our stair steps is moving away from the uh, equilibrium point. So that's why uh, under the circumstances that equilibrium point is equals to zero. So, so what about that in the case of uh, uh, A star is equals to 1000? That is your another equilibrium point. Uh, for this one, I took the uh, initial balance uh, 1500. So that is here. This is your y is equals to x line. This is your y is equals to that is a of n plus 1 is equals to f of a of n. See the point. The starting from uh, how much that one? The 1500. Right? So the 1500 starting from the horizontal line, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Those horizontal and vertical is lies in between the y is equals to x and your function graph. So these uh, states are moving towards the your uh, what is your uh, a star? This is an a star that is one thousand. So moving that state steps towards the your equilibrium point and so this is an asymptotic state right so when we are discussing this was a problem in previous uh, next see here this is the last example in your material so this is also we discussed the logistic uh, model for the population growth right so now uh, we will see the discrete logistic mathematical model for species population 
with the limited resource. So that is P of n plus 1 is equals to P of n plus k times P infinity minus P of n times P of n and the initial population we are assuming P naught. What is the P naught? P infinity is the carrying capacity. So that is the maximum population. So that population cannot exceed this P infinity. So this is called the logistic uh, method, discrete logistic mathematical model for the population growth. <clears throat> so now for this problem, we need to find equilibrium points of the system and uh, determine the conditions under which each equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. So first we need to find uh, equilibrium points of this uh, difference equation. Of course, this is also a nonlinear, isn't it? So it is a uh, little bit difficult to find the uh, analytical solution. So we need to uh, discuss the stability analysis, right? Uh, with respect to the equilibrium point. See, that is an advantage of the equilibrium point, right? So we know that uh, if you consider this one as uh, P of n plus 1 is equals to K of P of sorry, F of P of n. So you can consider this uh, P of n as an x, then your function f of x is equals to what is the right hand side x plus k times p infinity that is carrying capacity minus x times x. Of course, your initial population is p. So this is your f of x uh, that is x plus k p infinity x minus k x squared. So we know that what is the f dash of x. Okay, we will see later. So this is, now we need to find an equilibrium point. Suppose P star is my equilibrium point of this dynamical system, then f of P star is equals to P star. So then f of P star is P star in place of x P star plus k times P infinity minus P star times P that is P star, uh, um, the right hand side is a P star, implies you can see this P star and is any other P star? I think this P star will be cancelled. So you will get only K of P, P infinity minus P star times P star is equals to zero. So here there are two equilibrium points. Uh, uh, one is uh, here, of course, k is a, a, a non-zero. So this is, this product is equals to zero mean p star is zero or p star is equals to p infinity. Then, so now, so those are my equilibrium points of this system. That is the first part A. And second one, we need to determine the condition under which each equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. For this, we need a derivative of this f of x, right? <clears throat> so the f of, uh, we know that f of x is equals to, what is that one? x plus k times p infinity minus x time x. So that is x plus k p infinity x minus k x squared. So the derivative is 1 plus k p infinity minus 2 k x. So you know that there are two equilibrium points. One is one is 0 and one is mm, p infinity. Right? So, what is the f dash of 0? So, substitute f dash of 0, that is 1 plus k p infinity. And f dash of p infinity is equals to 1 minus uh, 
uh, uh, because when it is k p infinity minus two k p infinity, that is minus k p infinity. So these are the values. See here, p infinity is a fixed. That is a carrying capacity. That is a maximum value of the population. So that is a constant, no change. So k is an uh, arbitrary constant. So the f dash of zero, uh, under what values this will be going to less than one, right? So we know that the equilibrium point P star is an asymptotic stable if this is the condition is uh, true. So now your f dash of zero is less than one mean one plus kp infinity is less than one. So this is your one plus kp infinity. So that is, we know that that one plus k infinity lies in between minus one and plus one. So then uh, what I am going to do, I am going to subtract minus one. So that implies minus one minus one is less than minus one plus one plus kp infinity uh, is less than one minus one. So this implies minus one minus one is minus two. Minus one plus one is cancelled. We will get kp infinity. This is one minus one is zero. So what is the k value? K value should be lies in between minus two over p infinity and zero. So the k values lies in between because p infinity is a greater than zero. That is a maximum population. That is a positive. So under this value of the k, your equilibrium point p star is equals to zero is asymptotically stable. Right? So then the other, another one, the other uh, um, equilibrium point, right? That is a p infinity, uh, f dash of p infinity is uh, one minus k k p infinity. So under what condition of values of the k, uh, again the system is uh, asymptotically stable. See here, if f dash of p infinity is less than one, we know that that system is stable for this equilibrium point. So f dash of p infinity is a one minus k p infinity that is less than one. Again, that value is lies in between minus one and plus one. Again, subtracting on both sides, you will get minus one. With minus one, you will get this is. And multiply with negative, the inequality will be changed. That zero is less than k p infinity is less than two. And divide by p infinity because p infinity is a greater than zero. Zero by p infinity uh, less than k is less than two over. So that is uh, zero is less than k is less than two over uh, p infinity. So the value of k lies in between zero and two over p infinity. The system is stable. Uh, under this equilibrium point p infinity right so these two conditions uh, are the asymptotically stable for this problem so such a questions you can expect it in the examinations so see here the the possibility of the uh, Stair steps diagram or top wave diagram, uh, the values, the equilibrium point for P star is equal to zero, the values of K lies in between, and uh, the equilibrium point P star is equal to P infinity, your K values are lies in between uh, these two, right? So suppose your P naught initial population is 2500 and the carrying capacity the maximum population is a 500 and k is equals to 10 to the power of minus 4 right so that is what is that one uh, 0 is less than 1 over 10 to the power of 4 
is less than 2 over p infinity 5. So under this condition, you can see here the problem. This is your y is equals to x, and this is your solution a of sorry p of n plus 1 is equals to f of p of so what happened this is your uh, where is your initial point right so your initial point is lies in between 2000 from here right uh, 2500 see the moving the horizontal line touches with the y is equal to x line again draw the vertical based on this point to here and again again we need to draw the horizontal vertical and towards moving where is your uh, um, the p infinity right that is p infinity is equals to 500 so that is my uh, equilibrium point right so that is towards moving to that the p infinity value so you can say the system is asymptotically stable right so in the next case the the next case the zero then k is equals to again 10 to the power of minus 10 to the power of minus and your initial and p infinity and then you can see your starting point the, this is your a naught right so that is your 2500 so again it moving towards the uh, zero right so that is your another uh, equilibrium point so under this circumstances also the system is asymptotically stable. So this is the importance of the state step diagram for analyzing the stability analysis, especially for the nonlinear, right? Because we are unable to get the analytical solution. This is the way to assess the uh, behavior of long-term behavior of the solution with help of the diagram. So if it is an analytical solution, of course, we know that every phenomena, it will be appear and then you can conclude. If you know the solution, then we can assess the uh, long-term behavior of the solution yeah, here. If not, then this is the way to analyze the long-term behavior, right? So please see there is some exercise after this one and please uh, focus, try to get the solutions. And if you have any doubt, discuss with me or Vikash for uh, the next step. So, so please uh, um, watch this uh, video record uh, before coming to the uh, Friday class. Now we will discuss the uh, system of the difference equation. Just the extended of all these concepts is uh, system. System means it is higher order and then we are converted into the system of first order. So we need some uh, linear algebra, especially um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors to analyze the uh, stability analysis of the system of uh, a different equation, right? Okay, thank you. So I will stop here and I will upload um, all these records after half an hour. Thank you.